you remember a board game as a kid called Snakes and Ladders? Now, if you're from the States, it was probably called Shoots and Ladders. But what Snakes and Ladders was, it was, it was a board game whereby it had 100 squares, starting off at a 1 and ending in 100. And in order to win this game, you had to roll the dice, and whatever number that appeared on the dice after you rolled it, you moved forward those steps. So if, for example, you roll the four, well then you move forward four squares. If you roll the six, you move forward six squares. And that was basically the essence of the game. However, on the board game were snakes and there were ladders. So if you landed on the bottom of a ladder, well then it meant that you could move up the ladder, so therefore you could win the game faster. Or if you landed on the head of a snake, unfortunately what happened was that you ended up going down the snake, so therefore you were going backwards in the game. And if you had a number of different players playing the game, you'd be constantly going this back and forth, and eventually there'd be one winner of the game. They'd, they'd reach 100 and they'd win. So that's what the game was, was, was in essence all about. However, what's it got to do with our life? Well, there's a lot that we can actually learn from the Snakes and Ladders game. So we start off at square one, meaning that we're born and we're given a body and we're given a persona. And that's where we start. We, we start at square one, we're, we're, we're born. And as we roll the dice, we could get a six, we'd be really, really happy, or we could get a one or a two and be not so happy. But we never know what's going to show up on the next square. We never know what our next step is going to be because it's all determined on the roll of a dice. So therefore, we roll the dice, we move forward. Now, what happens is that we could land on the bottom of the ladder and we could move up. And by moving up, that might mean that we had gotten the promotion in our, in our career, or we got a new client, or our business is going well, or we got a lucky break. So these are you know, loads of different events that can happen in our life in order to actually move us up and we feel great about ourselves. And then there's the snakes, and we land on the head of a snake, and that could be anything from you know, an illness to the death of a loved one, the, the breakup of a relationship, or financial loss, or any end of different types of events that kind of bring us back. And what we find ourselves doing is sometimes just moving three steps forward and two steps back. We, we get into a, a feeling or a rush that we're, we're just going around in circles. We're not really achieving a huge amount. And, but yes, when, when we land on a, on a ladder and we move up and we get that promotion or we, we get the new clients or our business is going really, really well, we, we find ourselves being better. We, we, we find ourselves in a much better state of mind and we can achieve anything that we want to achieve. We, we can conquer the world and we, can, we know we're actually going to reach the level of success that we want to actually achieve in, 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 our, in our life. However, there, there's times where we, we land on a snake and those events bring us back down and we, we get sad, we get lonely, we get isolated. We feel despair and sometimes we just want to give up and we, we constantly go back and forth like this ebb and flow and going up ladders and down snakes all throughout our life. And then, you know, that there's, we, we, we see situations whereby somebody wins the game and we see the person get into 100 and they won the game and there's times that we'll actually just, well, you know, we just give up and even though we're halfway through the game, we just, we, 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 we won't, we won't continue, we, we just give up, whether it be our career, our business or whatever it be, or there's times where, you know, the feeling of despair may be so much that we'll actually just throw the board game in the air and we just give up permanently and then there's no, there's no way forward then. But there's other times whereby, you know, as you get closer to reaching success and you get closer to reaching 100, what you'll find is that, you know, all these snakes start to appear. And even though you may have only come across the one or odd snake every now and again as you're playing the game of life, um, as you reach success, for some reason, you seem to come across a lot more snakes. And what tends to happen is that we, we kind of give up at that point, but equally, there's the ones that just keep fighting the stakes. They keep pulling back and they'll go again, and they keep coming back and they'll go again in order to actually reach 100 and, and, and to win the game. And that's really what, what life is all about. It's, it's about playing the game and get to 100 and, and, and trying to win as, as best we possibly can, and how best to tackle the, the snakes that appear and make them best advantage of, of the ladders as, as we land on them. But you see, you know, if we were to zoom out, we, we could see for ourselves that, you know, our, our board game, that even though we might be playing the game ourselves, um, but we actually see that, you know, there, there's, there's other players on the board game. 
and they play with us and sometimes they help us and they're there to, to kind of give us a lifting hand and make us help us win our own game. And, but then there's also people that what I refer to as the energy vampires. They, they, we, we come across them, we meet them everywhere and they're, they're negative or they hold us back or they, they throw water on our dreams and they just tell us that we're not going to be any good at achieving the success that we, we want to actually achieve. And so you probably recognise those, those kind of people yourself. And, but let's zoom out a little bit further and let's just for one moment just imagine that you know our board game was, was connected to other board games and you know we were surrounded by board games and we just zoomed out a little bit more and we just saw the enormity of all these board games being played and all these players moving all around all these board games and you know sometimes those players would move on to our board games sometimes we'd move on to other people's board games but you know just as much as in life we're we're going through life and we're we come across people and people come across us and we're we're here for a short period of time with with some people and others were here for longer periods of time but it's just to realize that you know in some way we're we're all connected we're we're all really connected in the overall scheme of things and we can really only begin to see the enormity of all of that when, when we start to zoom out and observe our life from afar and but one thing that we you know we, we get to miss and one thing that yeah you'll probably remember as a child when you're playing the board game was that you know it's a game that's all it is it's, it's, it's a game and you're here to play the game as best you possibly can and to reach the levels of, of height that you absolutely personally want to actually achieve and you can achieve but it's a game and sometimes we forget that the fun that we used to have as kids as we grow up and we get battered and bruised because we've come across so many snakes in this world and the negative people that, that come across us we we tend to forget that you know we, we should be having fun and by not having fun well then life becomes that little bit harder but what you got to realize is that you know it is a game and we begin to we can begin to see the snakes as they appear and see them for for what they are and we know that if we just keep going, all we have to do is just keep rolling the dice and we'll, we'll, we'll get to reach our own 100 if we just keep going and just keep having fun and just keep achieving the things that we want to actually achieve. So my, my question for you is, you know, when you look at your life right now at the moment, whether it be your career, your, your business, and the relationships that you're having or the circumstances that are showing up for you right now in your life, whether you're you know, feeling that you can conquer the world or feeling the moments of dis despair every now and again. When you look at your life, how are you playing the game right now? Are you having fun? Are you seeing it as a game? Are you realizing that actually, do you know what? I just have to roll the dice that one more time just to reach the level of success that I actually want to achieve. So with that, analogy and that understanding of the snakes and ladders and understand that really our life is pretty much like that game board that we board game sorry that we used to play as kids well then perhaps we could start to have a little bit more fun a little bit more enjoyment in our life and actually get to reach the level of success and achievement that we actually want to achieve so with that i leave it with you just to think about you know how are you playing the snakes and ladders game of life